Action, Southern Aroostook uh, against Ashland. And uh, we're going right now for the lineups. Freshman number 11, Alicia Nason. Sophomore number 14, Christy Parody. Number 32, Christine Schaefer, she's a junior. Sophomore number 13, Michelle Junkin. Senior number 23, Kathy Tardy. Senior number 24, Missy Chassie. And a sophomore number 20, Beth Hunter. Now for your home team Warriors, coached by Tom Berry. Beginning with a freshman, number 12, Rachel Bishop. Another freshman, number 30, Shay Fox. Junior, number 32, Liz Burton. Sophomore, number 40, Misty Roy. 42 is a sophomore, Kim White. Sophomore, number 44, Holly Mayberry. And a freshman, number four, Erica Larson. Now for your starters, beginning with the Hornets, a junior at four, number 25, Denise Wentworth. And for the Warriors, a sophomore at center, number 24, Jody Brown. For the Hornets, a junior at guard, number 21, Crystal Case. And for the Warriors, a sophomore guard, number 34, Janet Corneal. For the Hornets, a senior at four, number 10, Hope Carney. For the Warriors, a junior forward, number 10, Jessica Collier. For your Hornets, a senior guard, number 22, Holly Carney. The Warriors have a junior guard, number 22, Jill Mathis. And for the Hornets, she's a senior center, number 33, Diana Belskis. And for your Warriors, a junior four, number 50, Jessica Walker. Your officials for this game, Mr. St. Louis and Mr. Galland. You're invited to stand and join us as the bodacious Ashland Community High School Band of the direction of Larry Hall honors our country with the playing of our national anthem. known as the Bodacious Ashland Brass Band, one of the uh, very tremendous group of young musicians who come back year after year, and one of the most outstanding bands that we've heard in the tournament. There are a lot of them, but that's a great one, the Ashland Brass Band. Today's officials for the game, Red St. Louis and Joe Gallant. We didn't have much time to say uh, much about each team before the game started. Number one, Southern Aroostook, number four, Ashland. Southern Aroostook, uh, 14 and 4 on the season, defeated uh, Greenville in the quarterfinal round, 49-21, and Ashland overshot 
in the opening round, 49 to 37. What about the strategies we expect to see here today, uh, Lisa? Well, they split on the season, Keith, and uh, it's going to come down to execution. We had a good uh, semifinal this morning, and it looks like uh, this afternoon one should shape up to be uh, just as good a contest. Final pairings have been established in all but Class D this afternoon. Uh, we'll see who will advance to battle Central Aroostook, victorious this morning over at Katad. Both Central Aroostook teams won their games this morning, the boys and the girls. Ashland with the ball in the orange uniforms, orange and black. And the home team, of course, Southern Aroostook in white and uh, purple. Diana Belskis going in the lane, stopping, getting it over to Carney. Shot taken and on the deep. Belskis puts it up and in. Nice offensive board, took it right to the glass on the left side. So the Hornets go on the board first this afternoon. And Southern Rooster coming back with it. Jill Mathers. And a long pop is up and off by Collier. Rebound up and in by Jessica Walker. Well, that up one and off. Over. Rolling out. Jessica Walker taking the shot. Coming back down court, Crystal Cates. Stolen by Mathers. Floating between two defenders. Going hard to the glass. And the rebound coming down to Ashland. Crystal Cates down to Connie. Cates getting it back in the crowd. Getting it back out to Belskis, who goes to the glass. Left hand is shot good. So Ashland is quickly up now by four. Belskis has been a real leader for this team over the years. Now her senior year. Janet Corneal double teamed in backcourt. And getting it up to Brown. Jody Brown going to the glass. First two points for the Warriors. Ashland up by a couple with six minutes remaining in the first period. Crystal Cates giving it to Falskis going in, drawing the foul from the Walker. Jessica Walker picking up her first foul of the ball game. Belskis is 5'7", playing in the uh, center spot, but uh, one of the things that's deceiving about that, she's very quick and she's got a good outside shot. She's also one of the better ball handlers. This is Carney, two Carneys on the team. Both from Holly Carney. Belskis again. Down, coming down to seven Rooster, and Brown throws it to Corneal to Mathers. The Warriors come in number one, 14 and four. The top seed in the tourney. Collier's long pop is up and off. Rebound coming down to Ashton and quickly down court. Come the Hornets. Carney throws the ball away. Mathers comes right back with it for seven Rooster. 525 in the first period. Corneal's pop is good off the ground. Back the other way quickly, Carney. And out to Crystal Cates. Cates takes it around toward the left side. And back over to Carney. Hope Carney to Holly Carney. Back to Hope. Belskis looking long. Starts to take a shot. Now she does. And the rebound coming over to Walker. Tied at four. At the 450 mark. Corneal going toward the corner. Looking in, coming back to Mathers. Inside. Brown spins and puts it up and draws the foul. The foul's gonna be on. Coach Tom Berry on the sideline. I believe that's going on Velskis. Her first, team's first. One team foul apiece. Jody Brown, 5'9". Sophomore center for the Warriors of Southern Aristic. Puts your team ahead by a point, 5-4. to four. Second shot by Brown. Rebound coming back out to Brown, but given to Mathers. Mathers splits between two defenders, loses the handle, picks it up, gives it back to Walker. They set it up again. Corneal going in the lane. Jump shot by Corneal. Up and off. Rebound tipped high. And tied up on the floor. And possession's going to stay with Southern Roostick. So the Warriors 
will play the ball in underneath their own basket. Brown will put it in play. Coach Bill Niemer. A front shot is up and off by Collier. Ashland comes away with it, but it's stolen. Now it's kicked by Mathers, and Ashland maintains control. Both teams really trying to push the tempo here, and the uh, play's getting a little bit ragged. There's a steal there by Mathers. Going down, won't, leading the pack, loses the handle for a moment. Now uh, puts a shot up behind the glass. Couldn't really gain control for the shot that time. That's what we're talking about, trying to push it up a little bit too hard that time. This is Corneal. Goes inside, bounces it off the leg of Carney, gets it back. Nice underneath, pass. Up, and in that time by Brown. Great feed that time off the bounce pass. And Ashland wants to talk it over, I guess. They lead 7-4, to four, number 4, Ashland, up by 3 over number 1, Southern Aroostook. Coach uh, Tom Berry of the Southern Aroostook Lady Warriors wanted us to pass along a message to Chet McGraw. He's the father of last year's starter, Holly McGraw, and he's in the hospital in Holton. Coach Barry and the Lady Warriors would like to wish him a speedy recovery. They hope that he's watching today. Take a look at uh, Coach Bill Niemer there with his Ashland team. Ashland down by three, seven, uh, four, the lead. It's by the Warriors of Southern uh, Rustic. Number one seed in the tourney. And on your screen, talking things over with Coach Tom Berry. Another D ball game following this one this afternoon. A boys' contest coming right up. And that'll be between Woodland and Jonesport Fields. Already two Central Aroostook teams have advanced to the East Main D final to be played tomorrow afternoon, beginning at 1.30. The girls' contest, the winner of this one will play Central Aroostook, followed by the Central Aroostook boys, and the winner. The Woodland Jonesport Fields game. Diana Belska for Ashland with the ball. Wentworth going in. Up and in. Denise Wentworth with a nice drive that time. We're going to close this gap as she pulls within one right here on a chance to complete the three point play. Wentworth driving by Brown. Cornel. She's the one that picked up the foul. And she knots it at seven. Nine at seven. Pressure from Ashland in backcourt. Brown with it to Mathers. Coming down. And underneath. Walker puts it up. Does well. And she gets the roll. And it's a nine to seven game. Part of their game plan. They want to try to get the ball inside to their big kids. Diana Bells is right back for the Hornets. With 3.08 to go in the first period. Long three point attempt. Diana Belskis. That's what we were saying. She plays center, but she can take it inside or out. Now, a one point lead for the underdog Hornets. Walker coming down. Going in as far as she can, throwing it over the head of Corneal and out of bounds. So the Hornets get it right back. Hope Carney plays it in to Diana Belskis. Back to uh, Carney, 2.43 remaining. In the corner, Wentworth puts it up and off the rebound, Jill Mathers. The Warriors come right back. 2.30 on the clock. Mathers puts the defense, tries to go inside, loses the ball. Belskis picks it up, coming down fast break. Carney drives in, lays it up, left-handed, no good. Pony on the rebound for Southern Aroostook. Mathers coming back, coming back with it. Her team up, uh, down by a point right now. Corneal launches one off the rim. Corneal with a rebound in the paint, back out to Mathers, guarded by Carney. Collier getting back out to uh, Mathers. And Corneal going toward the foul line to Mathers on the right side for the jumper. Good. She's a shooter. Ashland in the zone right now, and uh, Sun Southern Roostick moves the ball around, tries to find the seam. Diana Belskis right back for the Hornets. Stolen. Collier going down. Fast break, lays it up and in. Nice left hand. 
And it's 13 to 10. Good close contest so far as we reach the 125 mark of the first period. Belskis long three point attempt. Off and up and in by Crystal Cates. Nice strong offensive board. Nobody blocked her out. Ashland Hornets pressuring again in back uh, court. Picked up by Carney. Now Cates again. Bounce pass attended for Hope Carney. And stolen back. Cates had the shot that time. Uh, took one too many passes and lost it. Corneal underneath. Walker's left handed shot is up and in. And it's a three point lead for the Warriors. 50 seconds remaining in the first period. Belskis backs off and decides to maybe go for the last shot. Yeah, try to pull them out of the defense a little bit. 37 seconds. Belskis, Walker going out to pick her up. Denise Wentworth back to Belskis. Run this down with the last shot. Play pass with it a bit here as we wind the clock down toward the end of the first period. And a traveling violation called on Carney. Holly Carney, 22, Hope Carney, number 10. Come in, Missy Chassis, 5'4", senior, checks into the game. She replaces Holly Carney. Chassis first off the bench for Ashland. Mathers goes in, almost loses the ball, picks it up and puts the shot up. And Wentworth coming away with it for Ashland. And after one, 15 to 12, we'll be back in a moment. Okay, at the Bangor Auditorium, the final pairings have been established in all but Class D, and we'll find out this afternoon who advances to battle uh, Central Rustic in the Eastern Maine uh, Class D final that'll be played tomorrow afternoon beginning at 2.05. The Ashland Hornets, number four, and number one, Southern Aroostook Warriors. Back out on the court to begin period number two with the number one uh, Southern Aroostook girls up by three. Keith, both of these games are uh, living up to their expectations. This morning's Central Aroostook Katahdin game was a close one, and this one uh, looks as if this it will be as well. Ashland, uh, a scrappy team, number four, 13 and five on the season. Southern Rose to 14 four. Belskis hitting long again. That's three. And we're tied at 15 quite suddenly. Corneal down to Walker. Looking underneath, can't find anyone. Corneal puts up the pop from outside. And the rebound taken down by Ashland. That's Belskis running hard again down court. Starts to move inside. Back out intended for Wentworth, but tied up. And Southern Aroostook will get the ball. Number 23, Kathy Tardy, is in the game. A 5'8 senior for Ashland. So Ashland continues to hang in there and bring pressure full court. O'Neill with it. In the corner, Collier back to Corneal. She launches a long one. And a foul, I believe, on Brown coming over the back of Wentworth. Three uh, team fouls now on Ashland. Only one, or rather on uh, Southern Rustic, only one on Ashland, and we've got another timeout. Southern Rustic wants the timeout this time. Southern Roostick has uh, a little bit of a height advantage, and they need to make sure that they get the position. That time we saw Brown coming over the bat and picking up her first foul. The other thing is they need to uh, try to contain Diana Belskis a little bit. It's not very often. Let's take a look at that rebounding action. Belskis, uh, you can see right there the Southern, uh, so, excuse me, the Ashland players boxing out well and uh, drawing the foul. But uh, it's not many players you see like Diana Belskis that play the center position, but uh, she's come out and nailed a couple threes already. Both teams have struggled a little bit with turnovers uh, early in the game, and I think uh, maybe Southern Aroostook wants to talk about that a little bit. They've thrown away a few opportunities. <coughs> Tied at 15, 7 7 remaining in the first half. Ashland ball. 
can see a little bit of a 1-3-1 one, one full court press. And he gets a turnover. Going back, Mather. She's one on three. And she was lucky to draw a foul off that as number 25, Denise Wentworth, picks up the foul, and that'll be their team's third foul. Her first. So Brown will play the ball into Corneal. Corneal going over toward the right side now, top of the circle, giving it up to Collier, back to Corneal, looking inside, 6.45 remaining in half. Jill Mathers goes inside, puts up the jumper that's off. And Brown saves it in, but it's fought for and taken away by Belskis. And she gets it over to Wentworth, guarded by Mathers, back to Belskis. Belskis comes out in the forecourt, spinning in the lane, stolen by Mathers again, coming down one on two, going in, putting it up and in. She crossed over to the left that time and uh, able to free herself up a little bit. Okay, we've got 6.15 remaining in the first half. Close contest between number one and number four, 17-15. Going in, putting it up and off was Crystal Cates. And the Warriors come back again, leading by two. Mathis with it, throwing the ball over the head of Corneal. Hope and Holly Carney check back in. 17-15, 5-55. The Ashland bench. Belska getting the ball handling in backcourt. So they're having a little bit of problems right now with this 1-3-1. One, one. Collier to Walker to Corneal. 540 left in the first half. Mathers goes in along the baseline, puts it up. Too much. And it's stolen back by Collier from Wentworth. Mathers to Corneal, trying to get it down to uh, Brown if she can. Now it comes out deep to Collier, over to uh, Walker. Jessica Walker holding the ball up, looking for someone to pass to. Out to Mathers, Corneal looking into Walker. 5-0-3, but Corneal, Collier, good defense put up by Ashland right now, Mathers. In the lane, underneath, Walker, up and off, rebound, Walker, good second effort. Great second effort that time. As you said, Ashland was playing good zone defense that time, and Southern Rustic uh, had quite a hard time getting the ball in, but a great second effort by Walker. Four-point lead now for the Warriors. Ashland back, the Hornets. Shot by Wentworth. Rebound to Mathers, and she'll bring it down. 4.25. Collier back to Mathers, going in the lane, jump shot from the foul line, it's good. She's very effective when she squares up and takes her shot. Uh, earlier we saw her made a baseline move where she really uh, wasn't under control, but you give her the shot in the paint like that where she's got a chance to square up and she's going to hit it. So and Coach, Ashland wants a timeout. Coach Niemer wants to keep it from getting out of hand here because suddenly the lead has been extended by a hot shooting uh, Southern Aroostook team. 21 to 15. Defensively, they were uh, the series before this last one. You said we, we were working it very well, but here's Mathers able to work her way right in and notice that good technique that time, uh, squared up, took the shot, and she found the seam in the zone. The series before that, they did a nice job of uh, cutting down those passing lanes. Well, Bill Niemer wants to uh, pre prevent that from continuing and to uh, adjust right here to keep it close as they trail by six. First of two Class D games this afternoon from the Bangor Auditorium. The boys contest coming up right after this one. Ashland has had 10 turnovers, so that's uh, showing on the scoreboard. And Southern Rustic, on the other hand, only four. So uh, quite a difference early in the ball game. And Belskis coming down with it, coming to the top of the circle. Over to uh, Carney, inside. Cates, Belskis takes the long one. She can get him back in in a hurry with those three pointers, but misses. Now it's fought for. Belskis will try again. She'll drive inside this time and draw the foul from uh, Walker. I think they're going to give that to Mathers. Uh, actually, 
They both got it. We'll see who got, who gets the foul. They are. They're going to no. give it. They're going to give it to Walker. That's two on Walker. Carney will play the ball in. Both Carney. And taking Five too seconds. much time. The Warriors get it back with 3.58 showing on the clock. Corneal racing down court. Carney knocks She's the ball quick. away. Corneal picks it up, throws it, but Ashland gets it. And Cates comes back with it to Wentworth, to Belskis. In underneath. Cates puts it up and off. Rebound to Brown. Southern Rooster to Corneal, and now Mathers. Ashland just not making their shots count right now. Uh, had a nice turnover off that, but kind of forced the shot. 325. Mathers goes in the lane, jump shot, partially blocked, and a foul. Foul on Cates. That's her first. Again, we see Mathers uh, trying to penetrate through that zone. Stops to pop the 15 footer. And ends up on the foul line. Number 32 for Southern Aroostook. Walker Liz going Burton. to the bench. Liz Burton, a 5'6 junior, has checked in. Mathers, the uh, first of two. Neither team in the bonus situation and probably won't be uh, in the first half. Not a whole lot of fouls committed. Four team fouls by Southern Rustic and only three on Ashland. 23-15. Belskis with the ball for the Hornets. Guarded closely by Mathers. Five seconds closely guarded. Good defense that time put up by Mathers. And she'll play the ball in. Corneal back to Mathers. 3-0-9. Traveling Travel. violation on Joel Mathers. So quite a few turnovers, a few more by Ashland, but sure more than the coach wants on both teams. Coaches want. Carney's long pop, three point attempt, misses. Wentworth. Nice cut to the basket. Hates. Real nice cut by Cates. Good move away from the ball. Raced away from her defender, went down inside. Brown with it. Mathers looking long here. Collier looking for someone to pass to. Comes over to Corneal, 225. Back to Mathers, to Collier with a long shot. Rebound coming away and a foul being called on Southern Aroostook as Cates came away with it. It's going to be Liz Burton picking up the foul. Still only uh, five on the Warriors and three on the Hornets with 219 remaining in the first half. This is Belskis coming across the midcourt stripe guarded by Mathers. In the corner, shot by Carney is good. And Hope Carney puts it through to make it a four-point game. And the pressure coming again by Ashton in backcourt. As Corneal comes down court to Brown. Brown takes steps. So having a little bit of uh, problems with the press right now. They had it beaten. They were three on two, but they uh, traveled. And Carney comes into Belskis. 153, Bill Neymar, the Ashton coach. Intended with Carney. Uh, she caught an elbow or something in the eye. Corneal getting bumped in the action. Mathers into Corneal. Over to Brown, 142. Brown has it, her team leading by four points. Mathers, foul line jump shot by Mathers. And the rebound to Carney. Hope Carney, number 10, Diane Belskis. Molly Carney traveled as she made her move toward the basket. Shuffling her feet before she gets rid of the ball. Coming in now, number 24. 
for Ashland. That's Missy Chassie checking back in. Mathers hitting it back. Coming hard down court. She'll take it in around and loses it. Tied up, but not uh, long enough. Goes out of bounds. And Ashland gets it back. So quickly, we'll see whether the Hornets can make something happen here before the end of the half. They're down by four. Wentworth. And Carney nice drives in, puts it up and on. Rebound is up and off by Tates. And rebound now by Mathers. That's an example right there of what we're talking about. Uh, Ashland's getting their opportunities. They just aren't making them count. They got a nice uh, offensive board and forced the shot up uh, a little quickly. But uh, Southern Hoostick helping them out here as they have another turnover. So it's another chance for Ashland to close this lead a little bit. 50 seconds on the clock. This is Kralskis coming down 23-19. Kralskis goes around, down, hooks it up, hooks it up and draws the foul on maybe Brown. Like 24 Brown uh, being pointed to by referee Joe Galan. And that's going to be in the act of shooting. That's the second foul on Jody Brown. Sixth, uh, 16 fouls on Ashland. Only three. And we got a, another tie up. And this time, uh, Ashland will keep the ball. Carney will play it in. Kim White coming into the game now for Southern Aroostook, a 5 7 sophomore. She replaces Brown. Belskis. And traveling as she started to make her drive, start her drive. And we've seen a lot of that. Uh, shuffling of the feet before. Putting the ball on the floor, and Mathers will play it in. Corneal, Mathers back to Corneal. In the corner, and then back out to Mathers. Here's the long pop that misses by Liz Burton, who just came in a while ago. Nelskis with 23 seconds on the clock. Wentworth goes along the baseline, now throws it out of bounds herself. And another turnover for the Hornets. Got a pile of turnovers in this first half. Mathers coming into Kim White and she draws the foul. Mathers gets it back and she's fouled. The foul's going to be on Hope Carney. Still Ashland only 14 fouls and so Southern Rustic will not get in the bonus situation in the first half. 12 seconds on the clock. Corneal with it. Double teamed. Five seconds. Mathers takes the shot with two seconds on the clock. Up and off. And after one half, the Warriors leading the Hornets 23 to 19. So in spite of all the turnovers, more by Ashland than by Southern Aroostook, we're got a pretty good tight ball game here. All right, the hallway. <laughs> Thanks very much, Keith. Indeed, we're out in the hallway, and with us right now is uh, Larry Hall, who is the director of the, as they were introduced today, the Bodacious Ashland Community High School Band. And Larry, every year uh, we look forward to hearing you guys. Uh, you're regulars here, and you're going to be a regular on TV, too. I, I really don't want your job. <laughs> I'm not looking for that at all. The kids really enjoy coming down and playing, though. They have a good time. Well, now, how is it that uh, from a school that has, I think, only 159 kids, you managed to get so many of them involved in the music program? I don't think there's any real secret to that. It's just like math or reading or anything else. You introduce it to them when they're very young. I have kindergarten through sixth grade music, and you introduce it to them then, and you build on their skills and give them a chance at some success. And uh, Kids are no different 20 years ago than they are today. They want to belong to something that's good, and uh, they have a lot of fun with this. So they've had some successes along the way. And I don't think it's any different than basketball or anything else. You, build the interest when they're young and try to improve on that. Well, the band always uh, is great support for the players, but in the case of Ashland, uh, there's a little bit more of a vested interest because most of the kids on that basketball team are also in your band. They surely are. 
Uh, Diana Belskis, a fine flute player. The Carney twins play clarinet. Kathy Tardy plays. Well, I could go through all of them, all their names, but uh, they're all in the band. So are the cheerleaders. So we have we have uh, about 86, 87 kids involved in the concert band program. This is just a part of it. This is this is the part that plays for the girls' games. And it was originally started by boys basketball team members who never get a chance to play the, the rock music. So it's grown a little bit into a little bit more than that now. So you lose some of your players during the season, but uh, you don't mind that? Well, I do lose them during the season, and we pick them back up in the summertime because this group plays nearly all summer long all over the, the northern part of the state. And uh, so they get a chance to play too. Larry, you and the kids do a terrific job, and uh, one of the highlights of the year always is to have you and the band come on down and play for us. Well, we've enjoyed coming, and we weren't able to be here on Wednesday. We had a, a bit of a storm problem, but today was beautiful weather, and we're here, and we're glad to be here to support the team. All right, thanks very much. Thank you. Larry Hall, the director of the Ashland High School Band. We're at halftime of the Class D semifinals. Let's head back now to Keith and Lisa. Almost set for the second half this afternoon. The bands are firing up. Uh, for both teams, the Warriors band uh, in the background. We heard uh, a little while ago from the bodacious brass band of Ashland High School. Uh, Rich was telling about that a little while ago. And you know, Lisa, Ashland High School has an enrollment of 159 students. And the band director said 87, or 86 or 87 of them, seven of them are, are in the band when they're at full strength. So I guess, uh, there are more musicians than, uh, or as many musicians as athletes as uh, in Ashland, or maybe an, e maybe an even number. I think it's great the kids are involved in both. Uh, we've seen that throughout the years here. Ashland's been down here uh, several years in a row, and it is, as we said, always a treat to see that band come down, uh, especially, basically the number, the quality is excellent, but for a school to draw that many kids into their music program, I think that's wonderful. And it's a terrific band, too. It's not just a big band. It's a very it's good band. We've been listening exactly. to it even before the game uh, got underway here. They were playing for quite a while. Just uh, one of the outstanding high school bands in eastern Maine. And we're set for the third period, a 23-19 score. And Southern Aroostook will play the ball in. Corneal into Jill Mathers, who's done the bulk of the uh, scoring. Southern Aroostook back to Corneal. Looking inside, shot by Walker. The 5 7 junior puts it in, and it's a six point lead. Belskis for the Ashland Hornets, guarded by Mathers. Over to Carney. Back out to uh, Hope Carney. Hope Carney passes to Holly Carney, number 22. Inside. Back out to Carney for the long attempt. Near the three-point line, Corneal picks off the rebound and gives it off to Mathers. Jill Mathers with the ball. Ashen staying in that zone. Corneal tries the right side, going toward the corner, looking in toward Walker, but comes back out. Inside now to Walker, jump shot from the lane, and the rebound coming down to Wentworth. This is Belskis. Now underneath. Now the play is broken up and taken. The ball is taken back by Walker. So then Aroostook brings it back the other way. Kate's got, the, Kate's got the ball that time, but she was too far underneath the basket to do anything with it. O'Neill. And they work it around. 6.32 in the third period. A six point lead now for Southern Aroostook. A whistle. Uh, Underneath. We were, we were blocked out on that to see what happened. All I saw was uh, Walker going to the floor hard. Ball being called on Belskis, and that is uh, her second foul. Well, now I'll get a better look at it here. Is she uh, maybe a little hip check there? Coming uh, from behind there. Mathers inside, intended for Walker, knocked away by Belskis. Having a difficult time getting the ball into Walker as uh, they really try to shut her down in that zone. Mathers looking in. Back out to Corneal. Back to Mathers. And to Walker. That nice time, pass, nice shot. That time as Belskis came out to front her, 
They lobbed the ball over the head and nobody came to help off the weak side. Now some full court pressure being brought by the Warriors. Ashland breaks the press. Carney works, nice races pass. in and hands off the window. Carney had two people on at that time, gave the ball up for the easy layup. 27-21. Now the pressure coming from Ashland uh, in the backcourt. This is Walker driving in, stopping, putting up the jump shot. Good hesitation that time, allowing the defense to go by. 29-21 with 5.45 remaining in the third period. Up it comes to Belskis. Underneath, stolen away by Walker. Walker picking uh, the pocket of Cates. O'Neill, Collier. Collier gets it back, takes a pop from the three-point line. Big Put board by Walker. Shot. Walker puts it up, gets her own rebound, goes up again. Tipped up, now Wentworth. Tough series that time for Walker. And that's going to go off of, uh, going off Ashland. And it will go back to Southern Aroostook. Wentworth running into her defender and losing the ball. And they say she uh, touched it last as it went out of bounds. Mathers, O'Neill, guarded by Kate. Mathers, Collier goes to round one, defender and puts it in. 31-21, a 10-point lead now. We're gonna have a timeout here if uh, the Ashland girls see it. They'll get one here. Foul being called though on Walker, so. No, he doesn't want it now. Bill She'll Lemer, he's already used two, and he wanted a timeout, but... Uh, well, she's going on the line. He probably doesn't want to make her way to shoot the foul shot. Well, not only that, but uh, they were able to draw a foul. They might be able to take this down to eight points. Southern Rustic with a 10-point uh, lead right now. Denise Wentworth on the line, a 5-5 junior. Five-point effort in the quarterfinal game. What? Shed. Ashland defeated Chet 49 to 37. And Wentworth goes up again with it. Rebound to Walker. And maybe Ashland will take time out when they get the ball back. Well, Mathers. I would say that if Southern Roostick scores here, it's pretty. Uh... Ball deflected out of bounds by Carney. And Mathers will play it in to Corneal. 420 in the third period. Mathers gets it back, looking inside toward Walker. Goes between two defenders in the paint. Jump shot. And up, and a foul. As Brown tried to go back with it, Jody Brown went up and drew the foul. There's Bill Niemer on the side, obviously not liking what he sees right now. So Brown on the line, and her team leading by 10. Niemer does want a timeout right now. Ten point lead, uh, Southern Rustic has a chance to extend it to 12. Turnovers continue, but they're keeping the foul total down. Only one uh, team foul on Southern Rustic and two on Ashland. Well, they're also, Southern Rustic's able to get the ball inside right now, and uh, they're doing a much better job on the boards. And I'm sure that's one of the things that Coach Niemer's talking to his girls about right now. They need to do a better job of blocking out, keeping Walker and Brown off the boards and not picking up those fouls. You know, and, and before we said that uh, turnovers hadn't cost Ashland because Southern Aroostook hadn't done anything with the ball, but now they're starting to take advantage of those turnovers and they've run up a 10-point lead. Ashland has only one timeout remaining. Remember, they took one uh, very early in the game. And Southern Aroostook has three left. And Jody Brown, 5'9 sophomore, will go on the line. She had uh, an eight point output in the quarterfinal game. Big player from Southern Aroostook. She puts her team up by 11. Again, a concern, Bill Niemer. Uh, watching this one slowly get out of hand. Been a violation on the shooter that time. Referee Red St. Louis right on top of that call. Gives the ball back to Ashland. 
Cates cross to Carney across the midcourt strike. Carney long three point attempt. Rebound Cates. There's a break for Ashland right there, an offensive board and able to convert off it. That's one of the things they're going to need to do to get back into this. Crystal Cates, 32 23. Press coming from Ashland. Brown with it. Coming down court. And hands back to Corneal to Mathers. Collier. Back to uh, Phil Mathers looking inside. Goes in, puts up the jump shot. And the rebound taken down. Up by Brown. Rebound up by Mathers. And she's fouled and gets the basket. Phil Niemer right now not liking what he sees. Three shots at the basket that time by Southern Aroostook. And the final one going in plus drawing the foul. Slowly uh, slipping away here at this point. And Mathers will go on the line. Coming is Kathy Tardy, 5'8", senior. Trying to get maybe a little bit more strength on the boards. Mathers on. One shot. 35-23. Cates looking for someone, throws it away. Brown coming back with it. Mathers coming in off the glass. Really running things up right now. Southern Aroostook starting to get a head of steam going. Well, the turnover for Ashland puts him deeper in a hole. This is Belskis with it. Going in the lane, putting it up, and drawing the foul. She was fouled at that time. 44, Holly right. Mayberry. Holly's a 5'8 sophomore, picking up her first foul. And the team's second. Belskis uh, trying to make things happen, coming through the lane. And Mayberry comes over and gets her with the body. So Belskis on for a pair. Team up now by 14 with 303 remaining in the third period. It's an uphill climb now for the, the Hornets. 37-24. Full court pressure trapping defense. Brown to Collier. Back out to Mathers. By Carney. Mathers takes it in the lane, puts it up and off. Rebound right back up by Mayberry. And it's tied up. And then possession will go to Ashland. And Cates and Belskis bring it up with 240 remaining in the third period. Belskis. Long three-point attempt. In and out. Rebound tipped around. And knocked out by Ashland. So the war so the uh, Warriors get it back. Ashland does have the firepower to get back into this, but uh, they really have got to cut down on the turnovers. Nice steal that time off the press. Wentworth puts it through. And it's an 11-point ball game again. And the pressure keeps coming in backcourt from the Hornets. Mathers with it. Gets it over to Corneal. Racing in and uh, double, dribble. double dribble. She lost the handle. So a break there for the, the Hornets. Wentworth comes in to Kate. Guarded by Mathers. Gets it over to Brown. But Corneal. Corneal goes around Corneal. Back up to Belskis. Down underneath. Shot is up and missed. Tardy missing. Up and off Cates missing. Yes, not falling for Ashland. Opportunities missed for Ashland. Now Mathers the other way, puts it up and off. Mayberry. Now, Mayberry coming in over the back. So we've got three team fouls now. First foul on Mayberry, three team fouls on the Hornets. Three on each team. And Mayberry uh, going to the bench, 5-8. Sophomore. Belskis coming into Cates. 148 remaining in the third period. Carney looks long, puts it up. Missing. And Belskis can't save it in. So Walker will play it in. For Central for Southern Aristic. 
getting it back and going hard toward the basket. Dropping, spinning, and traveling. So the turnovers uh, are high for, for both teams. Referee Red St. Louis picked up uh, one of the scrunchies as it fell out of uh, Diana Belska's hair, and she, he gave it back to her on the end line. Okay, Belskis, number 33. She'll take it right to the basket, and she draws the foul from Mathers. Nobody near the bonus yet. Four team fouls. From Southern Rustic, three for Ashland. Belskis goes in again this time, can't make it go. And it's Paulier picking it up for Southern Arista. Well, it's just not falling for Ashley. Good move by Belskis that time, but just couldn't put it in the hole. Mathers inside, shot is up by Walker. Nice baseline move by Walker. Back the other way, Carney. And Belskis has Rome puts up the jumper. Nice shot by Belskis, 39-28. Keeps her team to within uh, 11. 55 seconds remaining in the third period. Mathers will play the ball in. Uh, rather, Brown will take it out of bounds. Walker going out for a break. Brown playing it in to Mathers. Double teamed. Gets free. Comes down in the forecourt, giving it over for the shot. Good by Collier. It's a gamble you take when you press. Uh, they allow Jill Mathis to dribble right through the press, and you're always vulnerable on the other end when you press, and that's what happened. An easy shot for Southern Rooster. Carney missing at the other end with 31 seconds left to go. 41 to uh, 28. Shot by Collier. Misses. And goes out of bounds. Last touch, uh, though, by Ashland. I think uh, Carney thought it was uh, knocked out by Southern Aroostook, and she sort of let it go that time. This is Mathers moving in the lane and draws the foul from maybe Carney. Uh, Could have been, been uh, on one Cates. of two people. Giving it to Cates. Second foul on Cates. And Jill Mathers will go on the line for the Warriors. Kate's got her on the arm as she went up. She'll have two shots coming. Some substitutions now coming at the end of this period. Misty Roy and Liz, uh, Liz Burton. Collier going out. Burton, number 32, is a 5'6 uh, junior. Misty Roy, a 5'4 sophomore. In the lineup as Mathers goes on the line with her team up by 13 and 15 seconds remaining in the period. Kim White checking back in, and Brown going to the bench. Mathers on for two shots. And the lead continues to widen for Southern Aristic, 42-28 with 12 seconds remaining in the period. Cates and Carney takes a long three-point attempt. Rebound tipped out of bounds by Carney. Holly Carney shooting. Hope Carney tipping it out of bounds. And Southern Rustic will get it back with six seconds on the clock. Mathers, two seconds. They launch one here quickly, and they don't get a shot off. I'm not sure 41. Was, I don't think she was aware of how much time was left there. Uh, End of this third period, it's 42-28, Southern Rustic ahead of Ashland right now, and we'll be back in just a moment. You're watching Tournament Basketball on Maine Public Television. Okay, turnovers were fairly even during uh, that period, uh, Lisa. Yeah, they were, Keith, but uh, again, this Ashland's got 21 turnovers. And the difference in that period uh, was that Southern Roostick started to take advantage of those, and that's how they got this lead. 
as we said earlier, if uh, nobody takes advantage of your turnovers, they aren't going to hurt you. But this time they turned it over. Southern Rustic uh, found a way to put the ball in the basket. They've got themselves a pretty good sized lead right now, 14 point lead going into the fourth period. And the way each team has been playing in this uh, second half, 14 points is a lot of, it's a big hill to climb for uh, Ashland. It is, uh, again, remember that Ashland has the shooters. They're very slow getting back out on the floor right now and Southern Rustic has the opportunity to uh, get some points and a foul here. Ashland was very slow coming out of the uh, between period huddle. Southern Rustic calling for the ball and hoping to get it before they did, but they end up scoring. Brown on the foul line. Jody Brown. And she completes a three-point play. 45-28. Cates with it. Top of the circle, going to the right. Now back to Carney. Three-point attempt. Play off the rim. Mathers with the rebound. 45-28. Mathers in forecourt, guarded by Cates. Coming to the top of the circle. And giving it to Corneal. She's open there. Nice shot by Corneal. They can't and allow that shot right now. Things not looking good for Ashland. As we said, they've got the firepower to get back into this, but they're only getting one shot. And that ball was tipped away by Southern Aroostook. Big 19-point lead now for the Warriors. It'll be tough for Ashland with 7.23 to go. Yeah, they just can't, they can't trade baskets with Southern Aroostook right now, and that's what's uh, been happening as we see a foul there. I believe Math Mathers may have picked that up, and that's going to put Belskis on the line. But it's going to be important not only that Ashland pick up their scoring attack, they've also got to pick up the defense to stop uh, Southern Roostick from scoring anymore. And that timeout's going to be Southern Roostick's. They'll have two left. So with a 19-point lead, what uh, adjustments do you think that Tom Berry wants to make right here? Well, he's got a 19-point lead. They don't need to force anything. They can take some time off the clock. Uh, they need to make sure that they're taking just smart shots. Uh, they really are in the driver's seat right now. They need to, uh, you know, as we said, Ashland does have some three-point shooters, so they may want to come out on them, but they don't need to be fouling them. And, and Ashland has been a little cold from the outside area right now. So uh, until they start making, you just play smart defense and uh, only allow them the one shot. As we said, on the other hand, Ashland needs to really pick up the defense. Uh, they can't allow Mathers and Collier and those kids to have the open shots. And they really need to start doing a job on the boards. They need a much stronger effort on the offensive boards. Belskis will be on the line when we uh, when play as resume. Some uh, dolls on the bench. These are the good luck trolls for the uh, Southern Rustic Lady Warriors. And uh, they've helped them so far, or I think at they least if, you, if they're superstitious, they have. Because I think they're they used to bring stuffed animals uh, a few years back. So uh, continuing the tradition. So I wonder if they'll give those trolls credit for an advance uh, for advancing into the uh, final game tomorrow afternoon if they can hold on to this pretty substantial lead right now. 7-20. Carney. Belskis. 47-29. And Corneal picking up the foul. Wentworth going on the line. Denise Wentworth, 5'5", five five, uh, junior. Forty-seven twenty, thirty 30 rather. Not that bad. <laughs> 17 points is enough for Ashton. Enough of a fight ahead. And they make it only 16 as they fight to come back. We're going to see a lot of defensive pressure as we expected. They're going to try to force some turnovers. Scrambled four on the floor, but Mathers finally has it. Again, they were allowed an offensive rebound there. Brown up and off, but gets fouled. So Brown will go on the line. On for two shots. Each uh, team has six team fouls, so we'll be in the bonus uh, situation next time around for uh, the next foul that is committed. Brown puts it up and in. 
coming back into the game for Ashland. Kathy Tardy, again, 5'8". Uh, they may be putting her in right now to try to get a little bit more size on the boards. And Hope Carney, number 10, on the bench. Rebound to Wentworth. Coming out to uh, Holly Carney. And cross to Cates. Up and off. Rebound Brown, but picked up out front by Collier. Double teamed and almost stolen by Belska. She gets it back. Now it's almost stolen by Cates. Pass to Corneal. Corneal can't hold it in. And Ashton will get it back. So the pressure is paying off a little bit here. Looking over at uh, Coach Tom Barry right now, you can tell, you can see him saying to his kids, just slow it down. <laughs> get under control. We've got the lead. We don't need to throw it away. And Ashton's going to play that kind of defense for another for the rest of the game, no doubt. Belsta's long attempt. Now Ashton backs away. Gives up some of the pressure. Mathers with it. Started by Cates. Corneal. And inside. Walker's jump shot is off. Brown with a big Brown offensive board. And, and that time she got caught coming over the back. We had Tardy with a good position that time on the rebound. And so she's going to go on the line for the one and one. So we'll be in the one and one situation for the remainder of the ball game. The uh, defending state champion Southern Aroostook Warriors holding on to a 17 point lead with 6.06 to go. Five eight. Hardy puts it up and it's 48-32. Southern Aroostook didn't lose too many players. From last year's state championship team, Holly McGraw is one who you mentioned uh, earlier. Belskis with it. A long three-point attempt. Mathers and Cornelio guarded by Kearney. Carney and Case dogging the ball in backcourt. Corneal comes over with it. Collier back to uh, Mathers. Ashland's going to have to just come right out and uh, really dog them on defense, as you said, Keith. They can't afford to let Southern Rooster take time off the clock. And Stripped away by Cates. Nice drive by Cates with the left hand that time. Uh, Jill Mathers dribbled right into the defense. And now it's Corneal drawing the foul from Cates. And we'll have shots, one and one. So Ashland uh, narrowing the gap a little bit here, 48-35 now with plenty of time on, uh, on the clock. There is a lot of time, and one of the things that Southern Roostick is going to have to do, uh, they can't force things. <coughs> Mathers took it right in one on three last time, and that uh, led to this fast break by Cates, who goes up with the left hand. And now Corneal goes on the line for the one and one. It really is a fine line between being cautious and playing not to lose. Exactly. And, uh, that's the mindset that uh, the Warriors can't get into here. Well, they need, they need to do smart things. You know, they don't need to force anything. They've got enough points to win the game right now as long as they play smart. That doesn't mean they're not going to shoot anymore, but they want to make sure they're taking good high percentage shots. Right. And they need to maintain possession of the ball. That's what's most important at this point. Mathers with it. 12, 49-35. Serving in the driver's seat, but having difficulty lately. And now Brown is fouled. That's going to be Belskis picking up that one. Third we'll have a two-shot foul, and that's going to be her third. So nobody really with uh, any major foul trouble at this point. Sophomore puts it through, making it 50-35. Cates with it, back the other way for the Hornets. Carney, back to Cates. All the Carney drives in and loses the ball. Walker gets it. 
gives it to Mathers. Coming across the midcourt stripe with 4.42 left in the ballgame. Mathers starts her drive in the lane, goes all the way down, hooks it up and in. Left handed layup that time by Mathers. 52 35. Ashland unable to shut off Mathers that time. And fouling violation as Keats started her drive. See some pressure here. Mathers bringing it up slowly. Walker. Oh, nice layup by Walker. Left hand. They took the Southern Rooster took their time that time, uh, figuring out the zone, anticipating the trap and passing over the top of it. This Belskis uh, puts up a left hander. Four minutes in the ball game. Collier. You can see that coming. And tied up and thrown to the floor. That's a tough place to stop your dribble because that back court line acts as another defender. And Ashland stepped right up and trapped her. And got the got the jump ball. So Ashland with the ball now. Belskis. Missy Chassis. Long attempt. Off. And a rebound by Brown. Belskis with a quick steal. 54 37, 340. Brown trapped again. Gets loose. To Walker coming down. Puts it up. Off. Rebound right back up by Walker. Here's that second effort. Good offensive board. She takes her time off that, too. That's one of the important things. You have to get that offensive rebound. Put up a good second shot. Don't just force something up. Back the other way with it, Crystal Cates. And it's 56 to 39. Collier down here by herself, but uh, wasn't seen. Walker and Brown uh, very good on the boards. And getting uh, offensive rebounds and two or three attempts down here, building up that lead 56 to 39. So Southern Rooster takes that time out. Each team will have one left. And the Eastern Maine final tomorrow afternoon. That game begins at 1.35. So we're set for the final two minutes and 59 seconds. Jill Mathers will play the ball in for Southern Rustic. And looking for someone to pass to, finds Corneal. Corneal is tripped and fouled by Carney. So Corneal will go on the foul line. Also, as we've seen uh, many times throughout this tournament, it's important that, as you come down the stretch to make sure you make your foul shots in these situ situations. And we may see a lot of foul shooting before this one is over. As Ashton continues to uh, try to steal to get the ball back. What? An 18 point lead. Janet Cornell. Cornell makes it 19. Ashton's going to waste no time. They're going to get the ball up and start letting it fly. See some three point attempts here. Carney drives in, puts it up and off. Rebound to Cates. Up, off the rim, up again. A nice second just effort, but can't make it go. go in. Good second effort that time but Kate, by Cates, but as you say, there's a cover on the basket. Call here. Draws the foul. Good play by Southern Rusick. The only shot you're really going to take in this situation is a layup, and uh, she was all alone. Defense stepped over and fouled. And Collier fouled by Denise Wentworth. We have 2.32 remaining in the ball game. You know, in spite of the fact that uh, Southern Rusick won the state championship last year, they have a number of young ball players. There's not, uh, there's not a senior on the squad. That's right, Keith, on the whole <laughs> team there isn't one now. What does that say for Southern Aristic's chances of coming back so, next year? Here they are set to go into the final without a senior on the squad. And Collier, 5-7 junior, makes it 60 to 39. Pretty much out of hand for Ashland. Belskis to Carney. Wentworth. Going to launch some of these long bombs here in a minute. Belskis three-point attempt. That one may have been bounds. may have been partially deflected. Good 
it was, so they're going to uh, get it back. Well, no, they didn't. I don't think they saw that one. Belskis uh, tried to tell him, but uh, okay. <laughs> she's going out to the bench now. I thought the officials disagreed, but apparently not. They both agreed that uh, it was thrown out by Ashland. Corneal. 62-39. Southern Arista pulling away. Carney's long shot. Rebound coming away to Corneal. Guarded closely by Carney. And Mathers. And Ashland deciding not to uh, apply that pressure in backcourt. Southern Arista keeps lighting up the scoreboard. Jessica Collier makes so much, it 64 39. So much for my theory of only taking layups. <laughs> I suppose if everything's going, though, you might as well throw them up. Now oh, there's one for Cates. 64 to 41, but this one is out of reach. Brown with it. Locker. And back to Brown. They're going to keep going right back to the basket. Ashland has it. Cates running hard. Has. Mathers out of bounds on Walker's foot. Trying to pick up some of these substitutions coming into the game as uh, both teams now going to their bench. Number 40 for Southern Aroostics, Misty Roy, 5'4", sophomore. And on the Ashland side, number 11, Allison Nason, 5'7", freshman is in. Misty Roy has it in the corner, giving it to uh, Jill Mathers. Christine Schaefer is also in number 32 for Ashland. Try to pick these up for you. Number 13, Michelle Junkins is in. Mathers herself, who was a team leader last year, has uh, got a year to go, a junior. Now we have some more getting ready to come in. Christy Parody is coming in, number 14 for Ashland. She's a 5'5 sophomore. Uh, number 12 for Southern Aroostook, Rachel Bishop, a 5'3 freshman. Along with number 40, uh, we said Misty Roy is in. Let's see if we can pick up everybody else. Southern Aroostook fans on their feet. Number 20 getting ready to check in for Ashland is Beth Hunter, a 5'6 sophomore, but she'll be coming in for the shooter. Yeah, everybody's trying to get uh, get their people in. Some good preventive officiating that time uh, <laughs> by Red St. Louis and Joe Gallant. Uh, Southern Aroostook put in an extra player. They had six out there, but I think uh, with the lead they have now, five will be enough. <laughs> Bought four, and here's a long pop that's up and off. And then Rustic brings it down but loses it. And we go back the other way. Subs on both teams and now a foul being called. Let's see, is that on 14 or? Yeah, I think it's going to be on 14, Christy Parody. Parody and Kate surrounding the and ball. It's on Parody. Now Hunter comes in. Rachel Bishop, a 5'3 freshman on the line, getting her first tournament experience. Rebound coming down to Ashland with 17 seconds on the clock. Parity. Long three point attempt by Parity is off. Tipped around, put back up by Ashland. Beth Hunter shooting. Four seconds on the clock. And Misty Roy will play it in. Three seconds. Shot at the gun, almost made it. <laughs> but it's 64 to 41. And the Southern Aroostook Warriors will advance to the Eastern Main Final to play Central Aroostook. Story in that game, Keith. Uh, turnovers for Ashland and some very low shooting percentages. Uh, even when they did get their opportunities with some good offensive rebounds, they just couldn't put the ball in the hole. On the other end, Southern Roostick really started lighting things up toward the end and was able to pull away just with too quite much a victory. Just too much firepower by Southern Roostick in the end, especially in the second half when they really got going. 
You know, it was a combination of one team being on fire and the other one stone cold. All the uh, pairings have been established, uh, except for one Class D game coming up, a boys contest between Woodland and Jonesport Beals. And Southern Aroostook will go on to play Central Aroostook tomorrow afternoon at 1.35, and we'll be back in a moment. <laughs> 